At mention of the Greek islands, your minds probably drift to the whitewashed gems scattered across the Aegean Sea. Yet, the Ionian islands with their exotic-looking landscapes are not to be overlooked. In this video, we've made a list of the best things to do in Kefalonia, one of the most beautiful islands in the Ionian Sea. The largest of the Ionian islands, Kefalonia never fails to amaze with its rich history, spectacular scenery and unique culture. With so many amazing things to do in Kefalonia, narrowing down our list to just 15 of them wasn't an easy task. Yet, we made sure we handpicked enough fantastic suggestions for you to enjoy a week-long trip to Kefalonia. If you're wondering how to get to Kefalonia, you should know that you can either fly or take a ferry to the island. If you choose the latter, keep in mind that ferries from Kilini port in the Peloponnese will get you to Poros port in Kefalonia, while ferries from Patras port, also in the Peloponnese, arrive at Sami port in Kefalonia. Thanks to its size and diverse scenery, Kefalonia is one of the best Greek islands to explore on a road trip. With so many pristine beaches and secret coves, quaint villages and nostalgic seaside towns, gorgeous natural landscapes adorned by cypress trees that give off Tuscany vibes, and the occasional well-hidden lake or dramatic mountain pass, Kefalonia offers an unforgettable driving experience. One of the main reasons to visit Kefalonia is to swim in the island's crystal-clear waters. Probably the most famous beach in Kefalonia is Myrtos, a white sanded beach whose waters feature all shades of blue, creating an otherworldly spectacle. Myrtos is often voted the best beach in Greece. However, several other incredible beaches in Kefalonia are worth checking out. One of our favorites among them is Petani, which is often referred to as a smaller, yet equally beautiful version of Myrtos. If you're dreaming of endless relaxing moments, refreshing dips in warm waters and colorful cocktails from the nearby beach bars, Scala Beach is what you're looking for. Other popular beaches in Kefalonia are Antisamos with its almost eerily green waters and the red sanded Xi Beach. We could go on and on about the best beaches in Kefalonia, but that would end up being a different video altogether. So, let us stop here. One of the most famous villages in Kefalonia, Discardo awaits in the islands far north. Renowned for its fine dining scene and cosmopolitan vibes, Discardo is also known for yet another reason. It was the only village that remained unscathed by the 1953 Great Kefalonia earthquake. One of the most critical and devastating moments in the island's history, the 1953 earthquake flattened all the buildings on the island except for those in Fiscardo, the only village in Kefalonia that still has its original architecture. When in Fiscardo, don't miss the chance to wander around its sun-drenched alleys, admiring the magnificent neoclassical mansions as you go. You can also have a look at the Roman cemetery of Fiscardo or walk along the quaint port. However, for us, the ultimate highlight is the short yet scenic hike to the old Venetian lighthouse of Fiscardo and the enchanting ruins of an early Christian basilica. Even though Fiscardo is often considered the prettiest village in Kefalonia, our hearts belong to Assos home to a picturesque beach whose calm waters reflect the village's colorful architecture, Assos is the ideal place to spend a relaxing day in Kefalonia. As sunset approaches, take the scenic path that leads to the old Venetian castle that dominates Assos for the most spectacular views you could ever imagine. The vibrant capital of Kefalonia Argostoli is the best place to mingle with locals as you walk along the quaint promenade or people watch at the main square. 
in and around Argostoli, you can check out some of the best things to see in Kefalonia, so keep watching to find out more. Near Argostoli, you can visit one of the most impressive lighthouses in Greece. Built on the edge of an artificial peninsula, the lighthouse of Agi Theodori stands out for its unique architecture. The 1953 earthquake destroyed the lighthouse, but it was rebuilt in 1960. Sunset is the best time to visit the lighthouse and catch stunning views from between its photogenic columns. At a little less than 700 meters, the Debose Bridge is the world's longest stone bridge built over the sea. Constructed in 1813, the bridge suffered significant damage during the 1953 earthquake, but it was later renovated. Nowadays, the Debose Bridge is a pedestrian-only bridge. One of the best things to do in Kefalonia is to walk its entire length and take in the views of Argostoli and Kutavos Lagoon, a wetland featuring several species of flora and fauna. Called Katavothris in Greek, these sinkholes near Argostoli are connected to a rare geological phenomenon. The seawater that passes through these cracks in the ground ends up in Sami, on the other side of the island. The immense scientific interest aside, Katavothris is an amazing spot to enjoy a glass of wine by the sound of the waves. A former fancy tourist resort that even the Greek royal family chose as a summer destination for their offspring, Lixuri is now a laid-back town with almost nothing to remind of its past glory. However, taking the ferry from Argostoli to Lixuri is a fantastic experience in its own right. If you're driving, make sure you board the ferry with your car, so that you have the opportunity to drive to Argostoli on your way back and enjoy some of the most ragged landscapes in Kefalonia. The ultimate highlight of Kefalonia is the beyond words beautiful Melisani Cave and its underground lake. This site of ethereal beauty is also one of great scientific importance, as the sea water that enters the sinkholes we mentioned earlier passes through the cave on its way to Sami. You can enjoy the magic of Melisani Cave in a rowing boat. To make sure you don't miss the spectacle of the sunlight illuminating the lake's insanely blue waters through the hole in the roof, Pick a very sunny day and be there around noon. Another cave worth visiting in Kefalonia is Drogarati. With a depth of 95 meters, Drogarati Cave is famous for its excellent acoustics. This is why it was used for live performances in the past. Drogarati Cave is believed to be over 100 million years old. Its impressive stalactites and stalagmites serve as visual proof of its long-standing history. Indigenous to the island of Kefalonia, the Robola grape variety renders a superb white wine that carries the essence of Kefalonia in its distinct flavor, taste and color. When in Kefalonia, you have to try the exquisite Robola wine. One of the best places to do so is the island's Robola Wine Cooperative, where you can indulge in a wine tasting in the heart of Kefalonia's Tuscany-like countryside. Have you ever visited a ghost village? Old Blahata in Kefalonia is exactly that, a village where time suddenly stopped when the 1953 Great Earthquake hit Kefalonia, changing the lives of locals forever. All the inhabitants were forced to abandon their homes and Old Plahata turned into a ghost village overnight. Nowadays, strolling around this frozen-in-time village is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Yet, for three days every August, Old Plahata comes to life again thanks to the celebrated Saristra Festival, a music and art festival that proves that life and laughter 
can reverberate even on the saddest of ruins. San Gerasimos is the patron saint of Kefalonia. His relics are in the monastery of Agios Gerasimos, one of the most sacred sites of pilgrimage in Kefalonia. The monastery is an imposing structure that dominates the gorgeous countryside that surrounds it. If you are in Kefalonia around the 15th of August, it's worth stopping by the Church of Panagia Fidusa in Markopulo. Every year around this date, several small and harmless snakes appear there. Legend has it that, centuries ago, when the nuns that lived at the on-site monastery were attacked by pirates, they prayed to the Virgin Mary to save them. It was then that the snakes first appeared, scaring the pirates off. Sadly, we haven't seen the holy snakes yet, but we'll keep looking. Kefalonia is one of our favorite islands in Greece. No matter how often we visit it, there is always something new for us to explore there. If you're looking for a unique island for your next Greek island escape, this video is the perfect introduction to Kefalonia and we hope it inspires you to visit this magical island in the Ionian Sea.